Today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start journaling your trades in the most effective way so you can start building your track record, a nice valuable data set, and most of all, you can just start learning from all your mistakes. So let's just dive right into it. So I use Notion for this. It's completely free. You just need to make an account on notion.so. And then once you install the desktop app or whatever, you can also download it on, on your iPhone then you can start using it and follow this tutorial. So once you got Notion on your device, just go to the left and here you'll see all your pages for you. It might be empty because you just downloaded this, but you can just add a page and then here we can start building our trading dashboard. So what do we need? First, a nice title, of course. So let's do like trading dashboard, maybe like my trading dashboard. And then here you can click on add icon and maybe you can, um, do some analysis I don't know and then you can add a cover whatever you like just pick a nice gradient or you can even pick like a trading background whatever you want so once you got this you just need to click enter and then everything you basically do in notion is commanded with the slash key so the slash key on your keyboard enter that and then you'll see you can add text page to do list heading everything you like so right now we're making this a trading dashboard so we want to link to our trading journal. So let's now create a page where we are gonna store our trading journal. So let's do that right now, click slash and then page. And then we're gonna call this my trading journal. And then just enter and now we're gonna create our database. So we're gonna create a new table. So slash and write table. Make sure you click on table view, not this one. And now because we don't have a database yet, we need to create new database and then we're gonna call this journal and now literally you just have to set this up one time and then you can just start inputting everything from your trade and start tracking your trade so we're gonna make every column right now so basically every trade is gonna be on one row next trade next trade and then here we're gonna create all our properties which we're gonna set up right now so first of all the name should be the um, pair so let's say I'm traded Euro USD. Then we're gonna type Euro USD right here. So click on this and just name this pair. The next property we're gonna make is a date. So click on this, edit property, and then type should be a date. And then we're gonna name this date. So then we can just click on this and pick a date. And now we know that we took our EURUSD trade September 27. Let's create a new one. Let's do risk now. We just go to um, select because we're gonna select from our predefined risk. Normally you only take 0.5, 1%, 2% risk per trade. So we are just gonna make a list and the next time you have a trade, you just need to select from it and you're done. So click on select and now create some options. So let's say sometimes you use 0.5% then another time you use one percent two percent maybe sometimes you use very small risk you 25 so now you made this um selectable items and now we can just select i risk 0.5 percent and voila that's there now let's create another important thing i think is necessary is the session so for this like the last one we're also going to make a select one and then type in session at option asia i hope you don't trade this london new york and voila now we're just gonna session let's say asia and then let's do our bias click text and then call this bias and now we have bias property so we can say weekly is bearish daily bullish draw on liquidity to the downside so I only look for shorts whatever then something I think is also necessary is your POI confluences if you have this kind of strategy of course where you work with points of interest so for me it's very valuable so I'm also gonna make this a select and then basically I'm gonna create all the options of of things I use for for my POI so for example fair value gap I am gonna use um, order block support and resistance equal highs inducement trend line liquidity um, 
breaker block whatever so now you have your list and now you can just oh what was my point of interest well it was a trend line liquidity plus support and resistance oh we made a fault here we need to convert this to our multi-select so now we can um select multiple options so no support and resistance inducement order block and now you can create a nice data list right here next thing i think is very valuable is your confirmation and your entry so click on a new property and let's make this also a multi-select and let's call this confirmation and entry type multi-select and add an option let's say you use minute five break of structure sweep per value gap tap whatever you use as your your confluence um, for your confirmation so when you see it you enter that's what you what you pull in here so for example i entered because a minute five break of structure voila now you know where on the high time frame you entered and you know on low time frame okay what was my entry next thing i think is valuable is your chart so what we're gonna do this is a special one we're gonna make this a url so now we're gonna name this chart so the next time you have a trade you just click here copy the link and then you just paste it right here so you can click on it and it will pop up in a new window let's do some others that might be helpful for you for example your emotions so let me make a select property let's call it emotions and let's make some options can be FOMO, can be greed, hope, can be frustration, whatever. Once you have that, you'll have your emotions. You can click on it and voila. Now the most important thing that I use actually is create a property, a text property and call it improvement. So here's where I basically just type everything in what I can improve. So I do like one should have entered here then you just do shift enter and you create two and you say should not have done this or that and then you can make like an arrow like next time i do this so that's basically your your improvement so then the last thing i think is very very crucial to complete this whole journal is to add a um, risk to reward so we're gonna make a property and this type we never done this before it's gonna be a number and then we're gonna call this risk to reward and then what we're gonna do let's say we lost this trade then we do one minus r and then let's say we have another trade the next day it's gonna be gold on september 28th i still use 0.5 percent and it was in new york buys blah 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 these were my confluences this was my confirmation and let's go some further this is my chart this is my emotions improvement and so once you filled all of this in i recommend you do this before the trade because after the trade you can have a different buy so make sure these are your all your thoughts um before the trade turned out and then regarding if the trade was a winner or a loss let's say this second trade was a winner and it was a one to two rr what we can do now with this risk to award is we can hover right here and we can click on calculate and then we can click on sum and so now you can see, okay, I'm plus one R. Let's say you made three R on this. You see my final um, portfolio balance is like up plus two R on this trading journal, right? So you can even now move this all the way to the left and then you can maybe do it right here. Uh, so you can see your, your R right here, but that's basically it guys. You can do everything you want. You can just delete some things you don't like. You can add things you do like and make this your own trading journal but i hope that this made it clear after a few weeks you have a whole database and you can just look back and learn from all your mistakes which i think is very valuable i know in the beginning it might not be valuable but i really believe that if you track this for like two three four months and, and years then you have a whole database it's literally unstoppable so what i was saying earlier why was this a separate page is because now maybe we can just give this a nice emoji and what we can do now is we can create a, another page that's useful for our trading dashboard so maybe let's do um page and then back testing and here we can create all our session one 
session two. And sorry guys, my camera just died, but what I was about to say is that now you can just click on back testing, go back, go to your journal. Maybe let's create one more that's called education. And you see that you can now just build everything you like with a slash key and you can create a heading. Let's do lessons from ICT. Now we can create a subheading, heading two, uh, video, video number one. And then you can just do everything you like. So now you can start building your whole trading dashboard. And this is mostly the important thing. So if this helped you in any way, I would really appreciate you just give me a like and comment. So I know I need to make more videos like this in the future. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.